Hi everyone, welcome back to Tech Recaps. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the battery health on iPhones. So let's get started. Apple has released a new feature called battery health, and that was in iOS 11.3. So if we, we're going to have a look at it today. If we go to settings and then battery, uh, battery health, uh, if we click on that feature, as you can see, we have uh, a maximum capacity. I have the iPhone 7 Plus. Uh, I've been using it for two years. Uh, the maximum capacity for this phone is 91%. Apple says that you need to get your battery replaced or the iPhone's battery replaced after uh, two years if it hits 85%. So make sure you check this feature every other month to see if your iPhone's battery is still healthy or not. I have here the iPhone uh, 10. I've been using it for the last year. Uh, if we go to settings and then if I check the battery and then battery health, uh, the maximum capacity for that phone is 100% because I, I have a special way of charging it to be honest. I keep it on charge uh, as much as I can. I, I, I never let it drop under 80% and this keeps it healthy. I have the iPhone 4S in here. I've been using it for a few years now. We don't have that feature in older uh, devices. Uh, this the, the battery health feature is only available on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and above. But today we're going to be talking about the battery coconut application and that's available for now only on Mac. This application will help you to determine whether the battery needs to be replaced or not. So if we go to coconutflavor.com, we download the coconut battery, the third version. Uh, as I say, this is only available for Mac. So I have the application up and running in here and I have my MacBook Pro. That's 15 inch 2018. This window will give you all the information that you need uh, regarding your laptop and the battery. So as you can see, the current charge for my laptop now is 6,843, where the full charging capacity is 7,170. So if I connect my iPhone 7 Plus, and then I go to iOS devices, we have the model number, the date, when the phone was manufactured, and under that, we have the battery uh, cycle count. The, the battery cycle count is very important. If, if your iPhone's battery cycle count goes above 500, this is a sign that you need to get the battery replaced. In my case, with the 7 Plus, I have a 412. The battery is not that good, I must say. Uh, it needs to be replaced maybe very soon. On the other hand, my iPhone 10 still has a healthy battery. 2776 that's the full capacity the size count is 24 um, it's pretty low to be honest I keep it on charge as I said as much as I can to avoid getting a higher cycle count and that's gonna keep the battery healthy now let's check the iPhone 4s as you can see it's uh, from 2012 it's a pretty old phone to be honest uh, the 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 cycle count is very high it's 814 and the design capacity is 1432 but i have only 854 the full uh, capacity it's pretty bad and the battery needs to be replaced at the end i just want to mention that this video is not sponsored by coconut battery it's just my personal experience with this application i found it very useful so i thought i would share it with you guys that was my video for today if you like it please like share and subscribe until the next video peace